Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Winback and on today's episode of Pokemon Unite, we're going to be playing Mr. Mime, the support character who does extreme amount of damages. Wow, did I fuck up literally every word in that sentence? Extreme amounts of damage. You're welcome. We correct those real quick here. It's a YouTube video though. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe your heart out because that's out of the way. Now we can talk about the character. Um... Being that he is a support, I'm not super sure why the game calls these characters supports. Uh, with the exception of Eldegoss and Blissey, uh, who make sense as supports, because they have healing and shielding abilities, uh, both Wigglytuff and Mr. Mime feel very, very much different in the support department. Uh, mainly because Wigglytuff is, feels more like a bruiser than a, a support, and then Mr. Mime is just like full-on uh, combo mage, like, just slapping people into the walls with your confusion and your, uh, your barrier, um, and then hopping in the middle of everything all at the same time. I'm actually gonna die for that blink because the jungler came down and I wasn't paying attention. I don't know why a jungler would go to the, the lane that is the most pushed, but here we are. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Blissey feels like a support, Eldegoss feels like a support, Mr. Mime feels just like a mage. Um, and you'll probably end up playing him a lot that way. Uh, currently in the, uh, I guess you'd call it the competitive scene for this game, you'll see some, uh, players use Mr. Mime as a top laner all by himself, uh, so that the other lane can go for three people. And all that being said, Mr. Mime is actually extremely good at securing big camps, getting lots of AoE damage just kind of out in the middle of nowhere, and then staying relatively safe, because most of what he can do can be done from very far away, and uh, doesn't require him to go into a whole lot of dangerous positions. But all that being said, uh, Confusion is always going to knock people back, and then it's going to do some damage on the outward go. But if you knock someone into terrain or your barrier, your Confusion is going to do extra damage from there. So you can always basically just aim your light screen or your barrier um, wherever you're moving, and then lay that down instantaneously and hit the uh, Confusion at the exact same time. You just hit the boat buttons quickly in succession, and you can nail the combo very easy. That being said, if you don't have a barrier or a light screen up, you just slap people into the wall, um, and then they take just as much damage. Unless they're Lucario and they can just dip, dive, duck, and dodge literally everywhere at any given moment. <sighs> but, um, you know, it, it's the Gokumon. Like, how do you ever compete with it? It's just, it's busted, and I don't like it, and I don't want to play it anymore. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're paying attention to Mr. Mime. We've got the barrier down, got the confusion on too, and Zorora is going to take out the Lucario first. Can we get the Blissey kill? Ooh, there it is. Every uh, third attack, every boosted attack for Mr. Mime is going to knock a character up. Uh, so whoever you hit with that boosted auto, I think it's in an AoE as well, uh, but if you use that boosted auto on uh, whoever, they get knocked up, stunned for a very brief duration, and then the rest of your team can descend upon them, do the damage. Ugh, like Talonflame is... Oh my god, that's four people from the enemy team, and they got the Rotom on the top side, so I am out. Don't you dare. Fuck, he did. Trying to use the confusion, but a little bit too late to get away from him, uh, and I definitely misjudged when he was going in for the, the focus punch, or the power-up punch, whatever the fuck it's called. I hate that character. <sighs> Gotta time it right to interrupt it, and we definitely didn't do that. Our uh, Ralts all the way down at level 5. Not sure why everybody came down here all of a sudden, um, but Greninja holding down the top lane all by himself, I guess. Trying to just push people back to defend the lane. And it worked. Looks like it was okay. We're just killing the neutral, uh, KOing the neutral creeps for the... We gotta get to level 9 for our Unite move. Once we get our Unite move, we can actually participate a little bit more aggressively in team fights because we can incapacitate people quite a bit. You get uh, a huge radius around Mr. Mime when you use the Unite move, uh, but over the course of the the move itself, 
you can mini stun people three times, I believe. Can we knock him into the wall? Uh, nope, he just power up punched right into my face again. I can't help you, Zorari. You need to come directly to me. There it is. Well, can you get the Lucario kill? He's unstoppable using his ultimate. I've got my ultimate as well. Let's just rip it. See if we can get maybe a kill or two. Oh, man. We lost our Zorora. Uh, everything's a little bit spooky here because it's Blissey and Mamoswine. Gotta put the wall down. No, you will not. You shall not pass. I am safe. Maybe not, maybe not safe and sound, but definitely in a better position than I could have been. Um... Now, all of the, the stuff that you're seeing with Mr. Mime here, it's not horribly exciting, uh, if we're being honest. I don't think that this character is super flashy to play at any given moment, but he does do a shitload of damage, and uh, given that his ultimate can incapacitate people quite often and is about as large as the Zapdos pit, you can see how good his objective control can be, too. So, Mime, ultimately, really good at taking... Uh, camps, or neutral minions, whatever you want to call them, wild Pokemon, there we go, uh, really good at doing damage, really good at doing damage on objectives with his uh, control, and then his ultimate is extremely, extremely good in team fights. so the only thing that this character really doesn't have is uh, flashy, fun abilities, and then uh, movement, movement being one of the most sought after uh, what's what's the word? Sought after properties, values, abilities? I don't know. One of the most important things that you can do in a MOBA is be able to move very fast. And Mime cannot do that, so he is oftentimes going to be held back by his, uh, his normal-ass movement speed and complete lack of a dash. Let's go ahead, pop the ult, see if we can stun some people, do some damage, split up this team fight. Is Talonflame going to die before he kills our whole team? Yes, I'm going to do it with a blind-ass confusion into that bush. Was I confused? No. Talonflame? Certainly. Knocking back, saving the Dor Zorora. Ooh, almost, almost losing him again. Is now the time. Now does he die? That everything is missing. He's just running in circles, saving his own life while his, while the Lucario's team sits back and watches from afar. That's incredible. Uh, Lucario lived as well. Oh, or did he? Can we get him into a wall? Got him. Oh, no, he just barely got away. I wanted to be super aggressive, but my team doesn't look like they're super ready to come help me. So, being aggro here... Uh, it's getting a little bit spooky. We've got six seconds on the Zapdos. We just got to try to hold them back for the moment. We don't have our ult charged yet, so that's really, really bad. You definitely want to hold on to your ult when the Zapdos pit comes up. We are down in points by, it looks like, a very small margin because the uh, uh, everything is happening all at once. Oh, my God. Save me. There's the wall. Got to walk behind it. Get away from the Blissey. It looks like Lucario is fading back as well. They're trying to both fight us and take the Zapdos, which is not smart at all. You either need to commit to the Zapdos, or you need to commit to killing the enemy team and then taking the Zapdos. As it stands right now, we've got almost ready ult charge. It's like Gardevoir just ripped it. Gonna get the Blissey, that's four people down, and the Zapdos health is climbing quickly towards the bottom, or falling, as you might know it. And we're going to take it pretty easily with the entire enemy team dead. Run towards that middle goal. Dump everything that we can. And then wait a minute for them to surrender. Maybe maybe they'll just surrender right away after we get all the points in. Huge lead. There it is. <sighs> just pop in the ult one more time. And then... Uh, I don't know. We just need to go defend our goal zones. But with the enemy team all being right here, I guess it's fine. We can have some fun with them. Or we could just leave. I don't want to do a whole bunch of deathing right here at the end. That is really lame, but it is a very effective strategy. Just sitting on the catapults until the enemy team shows up to turn in points. And you're going to interrupt them. The counter to that strategy, just so you are aware, is the score shield. The score shield item is always going to do enough shielding to prevent the um, 
uh, the catapult from interrupting you. Uh, and you'll be completely unstoppable, invincible while that shield is up. So as long as you have score shield active, you are going to be just fine and protected from the catapult. Again, I don't like score shield. I think it's a busted item. But I also think the catapult is busted, so... There you have it. That's Mr. Mime, the confusion and barrier gameplay. Uh, I also did a game with Psychic, but it wasn't as impressive, so... Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be playing some Laning Machamp, so we'll see how that goes. Peace out!